of Vegas All Net Radio, its affiliates, or its parent company. Hello, this is Rick and Kelly Dale from Rick's Restoration. And you're listening to Vegas Unwrapped on Vegas All Net Radio. Good evening, it's Thursday night right here at the brand new VegasAllNetRadio.com and it's time to get a little wild, time to get a little crazy. Why, you say? Because it's time for Vegas Unwrapped and here it is. Aaron Phillips, Ricky Cash, JPEG. Bring it on, guys. Chill, dude. I swear I put decaf in this coffee. I swear I did. Welcome, everybody, to Vegas Unwrapped. Aaron Phillips, Ricky Cash, JPEG, Bobcat on the board, and you, the listener. You are tuned into Vegas Unwrapped Internet Radio, coming to you live from the studios of the new, all new Vegas All Net Radio in beautiful downtown Las Vegas. Our phone number is 702 483 4444 or quadruple four or 4444. And you can Skype us. Should we give them a little to give calm them, them down? Them, yeah, give them a few meds to calm <laughs> them down. Give them a few Valium. Vegas All Night Radio is our Skype line. If you'd like to Skype in, we want to welcome everybody for tuning in tonight on the July 16th edition. This July month seems to be going on forever. Anybody else feeling like that? No, I think it's going. <laughs> no, we got really another slow. two weeks of this. Jesus, crap. 20, 23rd and 30th, five shows this month. My God. What are we, chicken, what are we, like young chickens or something? Mr. Cash, how are you tonight? Actually, pretty well. Thank you very much. I know. Much. Have you yeah. been taking all your meds and life shots doing, and Metafast? I'll tell you what life shots has done is given me that instant energy. It's also taken away the, uh, because it's such a good inflammation. Reducer. It's, it's reducer. It, it's helped very much with my sciatica. Aha. Uh-huh. And I'm walking better. So life shots is doing well. Now, the diet, Metafast, right. day number two. 10 today mm-hmm. and uh i'm not going to give the weight but it's going well good all right mr jpeg what's cooking in your world this week I, i'm not taking anything <laughs> I'm not on any kind of diet <laughs> but i'm having fun all right there you go mr bobcat i'm alive and well thank you sir all right how's mrs bobcat Mrs. bobcat is hanging in there i will not speak highly of the hospital that we had to visit Uh-oh. yesterday i just don't i don't know where our medicine in our thing is going to gentlemen sending somebody home and just saying well i'll give you more pain pills you know that sounds like are you gonna share (laughs) i I got enough of the house to share to knock half the kentucky field out i mean telling you well maybe we need to have a fundraiser (laughs) (laughs) something along the line i just want the lady's legs to start feeling better holy shnikes that's a lot of sauce there you can knock out half of kentucky yeah well uh, you you know they call horse tranquilizers? Yes. I mean, one or two of those things that she takes is about like that. It'll knock oh, you flat on your rear. It's about that big. <laughs> That's <laughs> why they call them horse pills. I'm telling you. The chop died to go get me one of those new Ginsu knives just, just to break this thing <laughs> off, man. I'm telling you. Ginsu knives. The I knives that cut through anything. I, I have not heard the Ginsu I know. knife spoken wow. in 20, Cuts 25 Cuts through years. tin cans and That's slices through tomatoes. That's because they last forever. And no one and needs once anything. once they sold them, nobody right. buys them That's anymore. Right. So, yeah, well, yeah. You don't need to replace yeah, them. My goodness. Business. It'll chop pills, trees, and anything else That's you want. Right. <laughs> That's, That's a good point. But anyhow. I'd like to say hi to Miss Bobcat. There She's back go. in action for you today. I know she is. I saw her busy on the website. Thank you, Miss uh, First Lady of Racing, Mrs. Bobcat. All right, tonight's show. We have some class tonight, huh? It's about time. Yeah. It's about time. Miss Deborah Salt, class. Director of Workforce Training and Economic Development over at Vegas PBS, will be joining us in about 10 minutes. She's perched in her seat, ready to go, getting used to the insanity that Vegas and Rap will bring. Uh, we won't indoctrinate her until after the first break. Unwrapped Treasures, we'll wrap up the first hour. We'll talk about some of the things that are going on. Mr. Cash, did you bring your homework in? No, because my uh, printer was having a problem, as you remember. Oh, oh Didn't you have magazines, though? No, I had th- those go back a few weeks. Okay, doing it with styles will start us <laughs> off in the second hour. We're starting already. Oh my God! You know what? Don't don't get me started. Not don't tonight, get me okay? not, geez, if he, not. You know, if he would just follow along on the Facebook, man. I, mean. I know he used to. He brought a laptop. He got a laptop a while ago. 
that he swore to me that he was going to start bringing into the studio to actually use. This way he wouldn't have to print weird news, he wouldn't have to print it, he could look everything right up. And where is the laptop? Uh, shout outs this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> so we got a wild show. You might want to buckle your seats for this one because I have a funny feeling that uh, things will be getting a little uh, dicey no. as the show progresses. No, so. we, we, all, we all are. We, uh, we got some class tonight. We got love. That's the second hour is what I always refer to. The second hour, Deborah, we tend to really digress. We try to be prim and proper in the first hour and do our business. You know, when we have a guest like you, you know, we want to do things professionally. But then the, something happens in that second hour. And all hell breaks loose. We just lose control, and we just we just throw caution to the wind. We've been known to dance. <laughs> in the you know what it is, Jeff? It is they go hit the candy machine outside. That, that is very true. Oh, yeah, they come back in your baby Ruth buzzed up like you wouldn't believe. These 15-hour Thursdays. <laughs> or, or what? Or his meds. Or his meds. <laughs> there you go. They start wearing off the second hour. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we're not going to be able to have a sports desk tonight because there's no there's sports no going sports, on none. since everything baseball's quiet. What? Yeah, I, I mean, you had racing. If you over can the find weekend. it, but if you can find something to talk about, we'll go to a sports desk. I'll right? have it ready for you at the top of the hour. Other than the ESPYS, which most people don't really want to talk about, with the exception of uh, of a couple of awards, um, well, we may touch on a couple of things. I know Mr. Cash can't wait to talk about Caitlyn Jenner tonight. Oh so. boy. <laughs> Oh, anyway, boy. that's a whole other subject. So speaking of shout-outs, uh, Mr. Cash, anybody want to shout-out? Just to? my usual people. Uh, I think I read something about our friend uh, Bella Capo that her daughter is doing a little bit better. Was that what I saw this afternoon? I, I don't know. I didn't read your post. I'll, I'll have to check that out. But if you if had your not, laptop, if, you'd be able to pull it up and read it. If not, we're all, you know, thoughts and prayers with her. Absolutely. Because she's, she's a doll and her kids are great. Uh uh, Charlotte is also visiting doctors. Michael's going to get some news and information. I'll, I'll find out about that tomorrow. Uh, Lois has been spending time with Linda at rehab. Another one of our Charlotte friends. By the way, did you give did you give Lois a call just to uh, forewarn her? I I I'm sending her a text. Oh okay <laughs> okay. Be, gotcha. Beware. Beware. All right. It's and you know it's not even the Ides of March. Uh, Cammy's having trouble with her computer to get on today, and use the downloadable app, folks. Yeah, that's really download you know, the app if you can't get on, on the your computer. phone. Right, right. Do it on your. It's phone. free. It's free. That's right. That's right. And no troubles with the internet. Vegas on that radio on the downloadable phone app at your store, whether you're on uh, Android or iPhone. And you know what's cool? What's that? I I can now plug mine into my car radio. How'd you do that? Oh, you have a Chevy? Yeah. You have a Chevy no, car? No, 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 but I have an adapter that... that you I have just, the, you bought it? No, I already had one. So See, I, that, I, I just plug it into the to the earphone thing right? and plug that into my uh, um, my radio in the car, and I can listen to the app on my car now. Where do you plug it into a radio? I've never seen any... The USB yeah, port, wait, probably, it, it, yeah. It, it, no, this not one, on 1948 cars. Well, listen, no. if you didn't, if you get rid of the Edsel that you have... <laughs> mine, mine has a cassette player... That has a. I have an adapter that you just push into the cassette player. Oh, okay. Plug it in. So you know. He's got 19 adapters in his car. He's got an adapter for. He's listen, lucky he doesn't listen. hang himself. You in should car. see my camera kit. I've got an <laughs> adapter for every possible kind camera of kit. Plug. We understand for yeah. crying out loud. Do you know? You know the the in between part between the his seat and the, the, con, arm, the console. Arm rest. The, the, console. The, console. the console. There is no console. It's just wires. It's wires, <laughs> and it's rising by the day. <laughs> I, I can't see the passenger seat anymore. <laughs> I have to stand up in my car to see the. Oh, passenger so you don't seat. know who you took to work today? No, I don't. There it, you go. I, I, I have to get out and look at how far or back or forward the seat is, and that kind of tells me who it was. You shouldn't worry about it. You know, first of all, thanks for the nice party and get together over the weekend. It was a good I, time. It was. It was, it a, was nice a very time. good time. Yes. And his wife was here. She yes. got a brand new car. I know. And she let us know that he don't get to drive it. It's no, her I car, don't. her finance, her money, everything. Tell your wife. I bet she's got one of those little switches right in there. I bet she's already built in your car. Probably is. But yeah, I'll, ask I'll him. never see it. <laughs> he doesn't drive the wife's car. Right. Ask him where his car is today. Where's your car today? In front of the house. Why? Well, I thought it would be nice to ride in with Mr. Phillips. Bullshit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the truth. He's 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 a wimp when it comes to his catalytic converter. He's been driving on a catalytic converter that's ready to die any moment, like fall out, like fall out the whole thing. So for three consecutive weeks, he's made plans to drop it off, have Miss Irma pick him up at the shop and bring him in. Right. That's right Last right. night I get a phone call at six o'clock while I was napping. Can you pick me up in the morning? <coughs> 
I said, where would you like me to pick you up? Because I'm thinking he wants me to schlep down to where the uh, place is. Pick me up at home. I don't want to take the car in. I figure I'll ride with you. I'm like, okay. And in the background, Cammy's yelling, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, don't you guys got a guy downtown Brown? Didn't, yeah, didn't, that's didn't, where he was going to take it. I don't know why he doesn't take it. Three weeks in a row, he's made plans. Maybe he likes riding with a car that's going to explode under. He likes he likes living on the edge. He says. <laughs> he, you know what he just did to me, right? I there. know what he just did. Okay, to and uh, you now here we go. One wait, one two three, one two three. Own the station now, correct? Uh huh. Little thing called trade, brother. Trade. <laughs> hey, it's a get good my point. car fixed for free radio time, and you know why you can do that? One two three. <laughs> own the station. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you know. See what I go through every week, ma'am. There. I don't know if downtown Dale would uh, is into that. Although he has supported us in the past, yes. I will say that downtown Dale Brown has supported us with some advertising. So, but he brings up a good point there, Mr. Cash. Yes, I haven't thought of that. Yeah. You mean it takes Bobcat to give you an idea that is, is geez. That's pretty bad. That's we bad got Bobcat <laughs> giving Ricky Cash ideas. That's God help us. God help God us. God help us. Oh, my Lord. Are we doing shout outs? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Cool. Can I do a shout out? Please. Sure. Cool. You know who uh, you are. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Snoopy and, right. of course, Elmo and uh, Big Bird. Right. And, of course, the Muppets. There you go. So Love it. What did and, he do by the Hitchy co- Company? I, I, guess, I guess he's Animal. Jim Henson. Jim the drummer. Henson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, me too. I love that. Eat drums. No. Beat drum. Beat drum. drum. No, eat cookies was yeah. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. No, cookie. but uh, Animal used to say, Yes. Eat drums. Eat. No. Beat drums. Beat. <laughs> now, Deb, you said that you have some friends listening uh, in other parts of the country as well. You want to say hello to them? Uh, yeah, Mellon, Both? Maryland, and Kelso, Washington. Where is Kelso, Washington? Uh, about 47 miles uh, north of Portland, right okay. on the Columbia River. Oh, wow. And I'm right, sure out, right above the fault line out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. You know, Mount St. Helens, you know, when yep. you know, it blew up there. Um, and some folks in Denver. So probably my ex husband is listening. All um, right. So, hi, Randy. There Hope you go. Hi, Randy. Well. Yo, Randy. 702 483 4444. If you want to call in and say hi to Deborah, of course. Whoever. After listening to the show, they may not be her friends. They may not be. <laughs> I know. Like, who are you hanging with now? They're going to ask. Who are those guys on the radio? What the heck's the matter? All right, a lot know? going on tonight. So much to talk about throughout the show tonight. Um, we warm- should get started. You think so? Yeah. All right, so let's go to our first break, so we can bring Deborah on right after the other side of the break. You're listening to Vegas Unwrapped. Sounds like we're losing control early, but Deborah will certainly bring us back in. She'll help <laughs> us rein the thing back in. Vegas and Rap, Phyllis and Cash. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's the number one assassin. You listen to Vegas and Rap. Y'all stay back. He's coming. The number one assassin's coming for you, Cash. What else is new? <laughs> yeah, who's not coming for you, That's right. right. By the way, do we have a confirmation on his arrival next month? No, I'm, I actually, I, actually I, I've got a phone conversation with him tomorrow afternoon. He is in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, doing a wrestling show this week. Oh, okay. He's well, got he's, some big news. Does he? Three of the independent leagues, and he's got something. He's told me that he will break it on on your guys' show right here. Three of the independent leagues are forming together. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. And I, from what I understand, there's some big bucks behind this whole ordeal. Maybe they need some uh, announcers. <laughs> Hey, speaking of Tennessee, and I don't, I don't want to mean to delay Deborah, but did you guys see that there was another shooting down in Tennessee today? Yes. On a reserved uh, army base or naval base or something. Marine Corps. Four soldiers killed, a police four officer, Marines. Uh, four and Marines, a cop. a cop. I mean, just and Criminal. they got the shooter. They killed yep. the shooter. Gee, what the hell's going on? Anyway, all right. Talk about a terrible segue. <laughs> From yeah. that to Deborah, yay! <laughs> oh, yay! So when we think of PBS, what's the first thing that comes to mind, JPEG? When you think PBS. Fundraisers. Cash? Uh, public service uh, TV. You know, you think of shows like Nova, right? What, what do you yeah, think I of love Cash? I love I Nova. used to watch and still do. They have great music shows, full in concert, right. limited commercial, yeah. stuff like that. I right. love those. Those, those, are, are, those are the ones I love. Yeah, the shows and the stuff. The doo-wops and that, yeah. Oh, yeah. But did you all know there's a lot more to PBS than just the, the shows that we see on television? No, I figure that's why Deborah's here. Well, that and she had <laughs> nothing else to do, so she figured she'd stop by, right? <laughs> She is the director of the Workforce and Economic Development for Vegas PBS. 
plus a dear friend of mine we've known through Kiwanis for years and years and years, and we reconnected a couple of, uh, a couple of weeks ago at a uh, business mixer down at Cashman that was held down there. And I said, hey, come on, let's go. We've got to get you on the show and let people know what's going on with Vegas PBS. So, Deborah, welcome to Vegas Unwrapped. Thank you. That's, Thanks for having oh, me on the show. Oh, my pleasure. And we didn't scare you out of here after the first block. So uh, no, I want thing. to join right she in. She jumped right <laughs> in. That's right. Wanted to know where Cash's beds were. So... You know, it, it's it's true. People, when they think of PBS, they think of the great shows, the low the low budget shows, so to speak, the freebies, the fundraising, all that stuff. But let's let's set the record straight. There's a hell of a lot more to PBS than what we see just on the television. Well, especially here in Las Vegas, sure. And we're really the trend centers for the nation right mm-hmm. now. Um, uh, our our workforce development, our workforce training, economic development um, program was actually. Uh, launched in 2010. Okay. Uh, but prior to that, um, even we actually helped launch the Vegas Virtual High School. Right. Um, we are one of six PBS stations in the nation whose actual FCC license is held by elected officials of the K-12 system. Wow. So that's highly unusual. Mm-hmm. So we've been in education as a root and and started here because of education. Uh, we also have a described and captioned media program because there was no school for the blind here in. Nevada, so we actually undertake that role, um, plus our local productions. But workforce training and economic development was a result of the recession. Okay. And the greatest need in our uh, community was retraining people and putting them back to work because industries and jobs that were there weren't coming back. We're no back. longer there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So what? Wh- how How was the groundswell to get it started? Tell, take us behind how it finally got off the ground in 210. Uh, w- well, we were um, we started with a, a strategic plan okay. and uh, wrote and looked at what was the capacity that we needed to have at the time also in mm-hmm. the recession. You know, all of our colleges and universities, as well as the K-12, were losing funding uh, because of budget cuts. And um, so one of the things that our board did was look at what is the, adopted a community engagement model and said what's the greatest need. It was in the workforce training. We were fortunate. Bank of America actually gave us a $200,000 neighborhood builder grant to really launch and, and put the infrastructure in place to begin offering training and developing training if it didn't exist. And it has just blown up since then. Mm -hmm. Wow. How about yourself, Deborah? I remember ten years ago when we were in. Uh, that's that's where we met back in the old Kiwanis days. How did you get into it? Give us a little bit about your background in history. Well, I I spent eighteen years in higher ed, um, both in Washington State as well as the Community College of Southern Nevada, now called the College of Southern Nevada. Had been in workforce education all of that time, building um, just in time programs for business and industry, and in higher ed. Um, I still have a passion for it, obviously. That's why I'm still doing it. Um, but really kind of was restrictive. Um, I didn't necessarily always have permission uh, to do the kinds of programs that were necessary to just get in, do the just-in-time training um, that a lot of people want to do. They need just enough to go back into work or they need the extra time and where traditional brick-and-mortar institutions might have failed them and they weren't going back, this gives me an opportunity through online education to do that. And so it's full-time for you since when? Full-time for me at PBS, um, actually since 2010. Wow. Yeah. I think that was right around the time, 2010, that was right around the time, Cash, you weren't on the air with me that night, but that was the night I went on the air and called Walt Ruffles, the superintendent. I was with you. Were you there that oh, night? Of course I was. Yes, he was. No, still I was. There. I was interviewing the president of the administrative. Oh no, you're right. You're right. I had that, pneumonia. You had I was, pneumonia. I was you in were the home. hospital. And and actually, Robin set up that interview for me. And I went on the air that night, and I called him a yellow-bellied coward for leaving the school district and the mess that he did, budget-wise, because he resigned two or three days before the school left that uh, the school school year was to start that year. Mm. So it was right around that same time. That's why I now am in this witness protection program. <laughs> 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 John. Uh, this is a little bit of a side note, but I, I just thought with your background in education and what you're doing with PBS, um, two of the states now, and I think it's Tennessee and, and Kentucky, have um, offered uh, free uh, junior college or community college to students. What, what do you think about that? Well, first of all, how are we going to fund it? Uh, you know, uh, and if it, it's free, sometimes free is what you pay for, and I, I don't think the metrics are in, what's the completion rates going to be, et cetera. Um, and again, 
I think it would be great, but one of the things, in my opinion, with some of the education challenges that we have in this state is um, two, a two, year, two more years of college going to be just prep for that other two years um, that you need in order to learn uh, a degree or to get a degree and, and go back into the workforce. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I had, hadn't really thought about all of that yet, but I, the funding um, of that, it would be exceptionally um, expensive. At, uh, but, but, but as a grandparent, I'd love it I for I my kids. I agree that it will be expensive, but isn't it an investment that we need to make? I, I mean, it won't, education at won't, any that pay level. Off, won't that pay off more than anything else we could invest in? Absolutely. I think um, to get this country more competitive, mm -hmm. to draw in the kinds of business and industry or reattract industries that have left this country, right. um, for us to be number one in the world, I think that an investment in education is the best investment we can make. Absolutely. Well, maybe if we start, and I'm going to get political. No, uh -oh. no, I'm not. Uh, yes, I am. Maybe if we we don't do politics. We're here. not so. But I'll, I'll, as far as education is concerned, maybe if we stop giving all of these countries all of this aid when they hate us and burn our flag, maybe we can use that money to fund higher education. Problem is, our own people starting to burn our own flag and mm -hmm. step on our own flag and wipe their behinds with their own flag. It's crazy. So it's not just outside the countries yeah, that know. we're giving money to. It's our own people doing it. Something's wrong. But anyway, we digress. So what is the mission of the Workforce Development Program? It's putting our citizens back to work, having okay. quality programs, uh, working with adding capacity to the workforce system. One of the things we say at Vegas PBS is we use our technology resources to empower organizations and individuals. Um, and, and really, it's, it's about the numbers and the metrics. Um, mm -hmm. If you've got your people working, whether they're ex-felons that have, uh, are re-entering the workforce, they need jobs too, or we're going to have recidivism, um, or returning homemakers, it's our returning veterans that need to have quality, high-wage jobs in order to support themselves and their families, and you're not going to do it on a minimum wage job. Mm -hmm. Very true. No question about Very it. Very true. Mr. Cash? Would the minimum wage increase, uh, would that be something you would support? For certain jobs, absolutely. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and it's hard because if you increase minimum wage, what's the expectation of skill and skill level? Um, and it also, because I also think that there has to be a minimum wage by age to enable our young people to get work experience. But if minimum wage is set at a too high a level, all of our employers are going to expect people knocking at their doors to have those minimum skills and abilities before they ever hire them. Gotcha. Good, good now, point. Now, good you're point. Ta now, we're talking about putting people back to work, but on the flip side to that is the employers. What are they getting out of the program? You know, absolutely. Employers, we work with employers as well. Mm -hmm. So it, look, we look at their retention, uh, their replacement needs. Um, we work with them to help identify what are those skills and abilities that they need mm -hmm. prior to someone walking through their door so that we can put people in the right training program and have a job at the end of it. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you have a, almost like a matching system between the employer and the employee. That we try to. Okay. We try and, to. And they try to. Uh, how do they compute it? How do they compute whether or not uh, the your your newly trained person that goes out there is because they replace somebody else? You know, how do they? Are they effective? Well, how do they compute whether or not it, it was successful? See, well, in baseball, they call it wins above replacement. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here. That would be a great study to ac actually do, but one of the things is the replacement or the turnover, because turnover is exceptionally expensive for any company. No doubt. So if they are not leaving the company and staying with the company, because there's always that question, what if we train them and they leave? Well, if they're not leaving, then you've closed that door for that, um, that having to constantly retrain people to fill that need. And that would be a lot of wins above that, replacement. A lot of Good wins. I, and, job. you know, a lot of people, when we go out and work with employers, uh, especially our smaller employers, they all say, we don't have a budget. And then you start talking about what's your turnover cost. Turnover is more expensive, and they, in fact, do find a budget. Because if you can shut that door even a little bit, when you look at your FUTA or your SUTA taxes that you have to pay all the time if you have constant turnover versus having to 
in that about May of every year. And you know, that's a huge savings to our business. You know, they can almost use the same computation. I, I started it off <laughs> as a joke, but I'm, I'm serious. I mean, if, you re, if your replacement stops a turnover of four other people during that year, in other words, he, the employee would have had to replace that same position four times, it's about a hundred thousand dollars, and that and that's four wins over replacement. That that would be interesting to see if it correlated that way. Uh, I th- I think it's great. I I love the idea if you can do that. Well, and again, we've only been in business um, five, in, in, years, right? for five years, so uh, five, great yeah, right. longitudinal study that we'd love to in, uh, to do. Do you train radio hosts? Because I'm always looking for a new partner. So I'm wondering if you have anybody that is in the radio business that we can train. I'm sure I probably do. Mm. All right. Let me know if you have somebody I will. in the pipeline. I will. Don't let, don't let them know too quickly. Though. What we what we don't know or probably can't train. You can train a lot of things, right, Aaron. But training personality is tough. It's yeah, tough. You, you have to have personality. That's why I'm still trying to place cash after six and a half years. <laughs> so, All right. We're going to step aside for a quick break. No respect. More. <laughs> if you got any, you'd think you're in the wrong studio. <laughs> you're listening to Vegas and Rap, Mr. Bobcat. Take it to break. Sit back, relax. And we got round number two coming up with our special guest here in the studio, Aaron Phillips, Ricky Cash. Yours truly, the Bobcat, and JPEG handling the video and the questions tonight. We're back with more of Vegas Unwrapped right here on the brand new VANR right after this break, everybody. All right, welcome back to Vegas Unwrapped. Continuing our learning and education about Vegas PBS with Deborah Salt. She's joining us here to talk about all the good stuff that they're doing at the workforce and economic development here in Las Vegas. Uh, before we get to the stats that we have here that John talked about, I want to know, we talked about employees, we talked about employers, but how does one actually get involved in the program? Well, businesses can call us at, okay. at Vegas PBS, and uh, we're. Uh, can I give the phone number? Please, sure. phone okay. numbers, website, whatever you want. 702-799-1010 and ask for workforce. 1010 or, wins. 1010, Sorry. yeah. Took me back to New York. Or you can visit our website at VegasPBS.org and click on the workforce link. Now, I noticed the 799 number is also the same prefix that is used within the school district because my wife, as you know, is in the school system. Is PBS somehow connected to the Clark County School District that they happen to have the same 799 numbers? Can I tease him? Yeah. Okay. Remember the first hour or yes, half show? Yes, yes, We talked about we're one of six PBS stations yes. in the nation whose license is held yes, by, by the, the elected officials yes, of the board who defer operations to the school district. Right. And so um, we actually are technically considered school district employees, but we are not funded by the school, by the school right. district. We see, are self-funded. We have new listeners at the bottom of the hour that oh. were not listening at the beginning of the show. That's true. Well, they should have been here from the beginning. Though. Correct. Right. He is. No, no, I was going to tell you, if you're going to run a radio show, you need he to pay is, attention. He I was yes. paying attention. He I'm not hey, slip <laughs> sliding away. I'm a professional at what I do. Simon I think that's great. Time. So thank you for You're revisiting seen? that. There you go. It's called a reset for you novices over there. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> I am a professional, you know. Yeah. So, all right. So to get involved, they can contact you, 799-1010. They can contact PBS to get involved. Now, is there a program or is there like a background check that both either the potential employees or the employers have to go through? How easy is it to get involved in the program? Come on in. That's it. You know, one of the things, uh, because we took over um, and we're the ones who actually uh, administer all the training for the food, for the Southern Nevada Health mm-hmm. District and, okay. and the food safety. And um, at the time when we launched, um, the Urban League actually had all the broadband technology centers around the city. Well, many of those closed when they did not get their grant renewed. And so where were people going to go if they didn't have a computer? And fortunately, our public libraries have been amazing mm-hmm. um, in that. Yeah. In that um, and so the library system has been very good. But we ended up having to open another lab. So anyone who has need of using a computer, doing job search needs, and sometimes even if they need a scholarship, we are fortunate to have scholarships um, not only from Caesars in order to put people back to work um, but we also have scholarships under um, the community block development grants from both the city of North Las Vegas and Henderson let's let's segue into then uh, uh, other than leaving the Uzis at the door you guys are not afraid of going into the tough neighborhoods in this city absolutely not in fact there are neighbors 
The yep. reality is they're our neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, they may not look like you. They may not come from the same socioeconomic development or area or status of you, but they are our neighbors and they need to have jobs too. Um, they do look different. Oftentimes they don't speak the same language and which those are some of the programs. They're the hardest to serve too, but they also are the most needy. They want to work. They're not stupid. They want to work. And so coming in, we treat everybody as if they are wonderful. Um, I have three bilingual um, customer service representatives. I can't talk their language, but they certainly can. And we want anyone who visits our center and uses our computer lab or is even served by any of the programs to feel as if they are wanted there and that we can give, help them. You, you have some amazing success stories, one of which I was reading uh, before the show started. And uh, it's a great story. And it's, not a, and it's not one that's finished yet. Correct. So why don't you tell a little bit about Marty? Well, Marty um, actually was unemployed at the time that we started with him and um, wanted to uh, learn a language. So He's one a young man, right? That's young man, a uh, young Hispanic man. And uh, so one of the first things that we do, because online training is not for everybody. Some people need the eyeball to eyeball and the hold your hand. Um, so if we're going to invest money in, in folks, we need to know and give them a scholarship. We need to know that they uh, will succeed in that, or we do referrals to other institutions. Marty came in, and we did the Hotel English Online to make sure that he could actually do programs um, and would be successful. He finished that lickety-split. Next, he got a job at Caesars because Caesars actually gave us a grant and we uh, developed a Caesars back to work program. Whether you wanted to go to work for Caesars or anywhere else, if you were unemployed, had a need, um, we were given money to enable scholarships in the community. Um, so Marty came in, he got a job at Caesars in the warehouse. Marty is very motivated and he's a, an exceptionally bright young man. And that's not where he wanted to end up. He really wanted to end up in marketing. And so um, he came in, and it's, it's not usual to invest in the same person twice. But he was so passionate, and, and we wanted a really good hit and a home run. Um, and so we enrolled him in some uh, media design classes and marketing classes, and he got certified in those. He actually is in the marketing department at Caesars. He's not done yet. Awesome. He has mm. bought a home. He is the first generation of his family to buy a home. And just the, you know, the empowerment that he has um, is amazing. And, you know, he would like to be one of the VPs there one day. And with his determination mm. and his ongoing learning, it would not surprise me if that's not where he ends up. Fabulous story. The thing that's great about something like that is that you have not only benefited that individual and his family, of course, but the whole neighborhood that he lives in. Or, oh. or because he, he's now a productive member, he's, he's contributing, he's, he's spending money, he's helping the economy. He's so setting the example for yeah. that whole area. But I mean, it's, it, it's, it's like you, you have helped one person who in turn has probably helped 10 others. Because he's going to spend money at the local businesses. He's going to, you know, buy clothes, buy food, buy all of that. So, And he awesome. helps tell our story. Yeah. So it's not, you know, it, it wasn't just for him. And I think that's one of the things that PBS does exceptionally well across the country. Yeah. Is we tell stories and we, we serve the public who then... Uh, you know, our, our motto is trusted, valued, essential. We want to be a trusted, valued partner in our communities. You're doing a fine job so far. Thank you. It's, it's good stuff. I was so excited to, to read some of this because, you know, and we personally have worked with children for many, many years in, in teaching and schools. And, of course, here with, with what we're trying to do and what Vegas Unwrapped, before we got involved with the, the station, Vegas Unwrapped's mission statement talks about giving back to the community. And uh, we're, we're trying. You know, we're out there. And uh, wherever we can give back, uh, we will. Thank you. Well, thanks for being here, too. I mean, that's, that's a, a great mission as well. What can Vegas Unwrapped as a show or Vegas All Net Radio as a station do to support these programs? 
continue to tell stories. Uh, you can also create a scholarship fund in your name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to pay the bills you know, first. <laughs> uh, you know, I think it's, it's about getting the word out. Sure. Is we are an untold story in the community. Mm-hmm. A lot of people still only think of us for the television shows that we provide um, our ready to learn programs what we do with small children even in the community before they even get into school is amazing that brings up my next question how do you raise funds how do we raise funds right well um, for our programs most of it has been corporate donations people can also call in and donate and say they want it to go to the workforce Um, and you know in any way that they, they want they can volunteer for some of our events we do job fairs we do all of those things uh, the other thing if you're a business owner if you have jobs we want to match you with candidates that are coming out of our programs they need jobs so you know our donations are more than just tangibles mm-hmm. it's all those untangibles that we can give as well Bobcat. i've got to not to steal something from the from don imus the i man here but how about a coagulation or a co- uh, something put together to where we can uh, radiothon with them and raise money through that and have guests and show well, hosts from their people come I, to match with us and we match with them. And I've do already it. donated my voice services to, to Deborah when she needs voiceover okay. work at no cost. Yeah. So whenever they have any of that fundraiser stuff going on, I think it's a great idea that we kind of uh, simulcast it. Yeah, we could do so something. To speak. Yeah. I've done one that of these would before. Be great. And it works out real well, too. I've right. done one of these. I like it very much. I'd love to do a radio thought. You can't stay up past 12 o'clock. Uh, Noon. uh, Noon. Up all night. First one to go to 2.45 a.m. That's your problem. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It's done well. We'll have to match that, I guess, on Saturday. Do you think we might be able to get Jerry Lewis? To do what? Do a radio con. Oh, my God. I would love to, I would love to first meet Jerry Lewis, let alone have him do a talk. Uh, I'm, I'm working on that. Are you really? I yeah, heard he's coming seriously. back to the Orleans after the first of the year for a big three show weekend, three night show weekend. With all due respect, let's hope he's still alive by then. Okay. <laughs> But that would be great. We a radiothon. I like it. Yeah. yeah. You like that, man? I like mm. it. I like it. Get us info. Send it to Bobcat, and he'll coordinate it for us. Okay. There you go. We that do We do have an event coordinator that will work uh, closely with him in yeah. getting it done. Yeah. Absolutely. Who hasn't been seen in two weeks, but that's okay. The event coordinator? Yeah. She was here this week. Was she? Monday. Yeah. When? Well, Friday. I'm sorry. Oh, Friday. Yeah. So yeah. it's okay. been a week. So it's been a week. She was up in Mount Charleston. My eye is tearing. For some reason, I can't get it to stop. Why is she up in Mount Charleston? Is she skiing early? I'm not at liberty to discuss <laughs> that. Gotcha. She, too, must be in the witness protection program. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Ms. Deborah? 702 1010 Well, it, you it's know. It's an easy number to remember. It is. And VegasPBS.org. You there you know. go. Make your Workforce. donations. A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, just make a donation. Any special good shows on the TV side that you want to uh, tell us about? I got to tell you, um, I just came back. You don't have time, right? I I just came (laughs) back from a a PBS conference, and this fall lineup is amazing. In fact, I don't want to go to work. I want to watch TV. (laughs) Um, That's why they have a DVR. Give us a little insight. Yeah, you know, our veterans programming that's coming up. We've got some specials. Uh, We're launching a new uh, kids cartoon in STEM education. Um, there's a uh, Wild Kratz special that's coming up, which is another um, uh, kids uh, cartoon program that we launched last year. My, my grandson could tell you the kid, the cartoon kids shows, and he loves them all. But, uh, I mean, we've got the, the science shows that are coming up again are amazing. But again, I, I really think our documentaries, uh, we have some health shows coming up, a brain uh, uh, cancer special it, it just a lot of new programming and I, I think we do programming that uh, no one else wants to but it's amazing I, I, and, and I can't understand that no one else would want to do some of the things that you do it, it, that just blows my mind I mean there's because there's, there's no money in it on the surface that's yeah I, I, I get that but you know but that's the reason yeah well there, I think we, we tell be. stories that need to be told right and, um, you know, I'm sure with elections coming up, I'm sure there's going to be debates oh, yeah. um, that are coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, PBS and has PBS been does the debates. Does real good job, too. Uh, so Very neutral. Uh, well, that's our, we're charged to yep. do that. Yep. Uh, but I, I think any yeah. of the programming that's coming up, um, we have our favorites. Obviously, in January is the last season 
of Downton Abbey. Uh. There's a new uh, British show that's coming that will replace it. I think it's going to be very good. So I can't a lot going on. So what's Lots the website again? VegasPBS.org. And all the listings, I'm sure, are on the website? Absolutely. There you go. 702-799-1010. I just want to keep saying the phone numbers. I like, <laughs> I like the 1010 part. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. It's our pleasure to have you. Check it out. Vegas PBS. Give them a call. Get involved. Employee, employer side. There's a lot going on. And I know we just barely scratched the surface with everything that's going on. So we'll have to have Deborah back on in the future to update us on all the great things going on with, with Vegas PBS. Coming up on the other side of the break. Some unwrapped treasures. We're going to let you know what's going on in Las Vegas over the next week that you can do for little or no money and get involved and enjoy Las Vegas. You're listening to Vegas Unwrap on the all-new Vegas on that radio. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Oh, What a great intro. That's right. Thank you, Paige Poole from the Pool Party. All right. There's a lot going on in this town, as we know. And one of the things that Vegas and Rap likes to do is to let the world know there's a lot more to Las Vegas than just gambling, Mr. Cash. Did you know that? The strip, gambling, you know. People strip can clubs. Find, yeah, everybody can find out about that. But they can't find out about these things that I'm going to share with them. That's good. Well, they could if they wanted to go online and search it, but we're going to make it easy for them. Tomorrow night, <clears throat> July 17th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. You like reggae music? Yes. yes. Yaman. Yes. Yaman. Down at Yaman. the pond at the Green Valley Ranch. From 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Friday nights, all summer long, free cover charge. So it's free to walk in. $25 for buckets of Bud or Bud Light. So you must be 21 or over. But if you like reggae music and you're of age, Mr. Cash, you can go down there. Nice. July 17th, if you don't want to go down there, go to the Sunset Station Hotel. Ryan White Maloney and Callie Tucker in concert. Never heard of them myself, but I'm sure somebody has. Country. Yes, that would yeah, that would do it, wouldn't it? Ryan White, Maloney, and Callie Tuck are seen on The Voice perform in the Gaudy Bar from 7 to 11 p.m. and mission is free. Guests there must be 21 and over as well. Mr. Cash, this next event is right up your alley because I know you like motorcycles. I know on your bucket list you actually want to own one, and I'll kill you if you get one. <laughs> so also tomorrow night from 7 to 10 p.m. down at the Arts Factory, 107 East Charleston Boulevard, Vegas' best monthly bike gathering with unique blend of motorcycles, art, and music. You can check out cool classic bikes and enjoy the laid-back vibe of Vintage Bike Night at the Arts Factory. Things begin at 7 p.m. You have live music, food, and drink specials, live body painting, Mr. Cash. Oh, yeah, right. Not your body. Not mine. Local art, jewelry, apparel, and more. Whatever you ride, bring it down. Designated Vintage Bike Parking every third Friday of the month. Uh, let's see, Lay Low Fridays. This is at the Bootlegger down on the south end of the boulevard. Come check out Lay Low Friday night at the Copa Room at the Bootlegger. Doors open at 8. Cool, chill, 60s, 70s, 80s tracks and remixes until, 10, until 1 a.m. All the best in music, dining, dancing, and conversation. There's no cover, no minimum, stiff drinks, craft beers, cool company. Come and lay low this and every Friday down at the Bootlegger Beer and uh, Bootlegger Italian Bistro. See, that's at the House of Blues. I don't want to talk about that one. Bowie, I don't want to talk about that one. Birdies and beers, Mr. Cash. Birdies and beers? Birdies and beers, oh my. July. Sounds, it sounds like a golf thing. You know, it certainly does, but uh, it's not. Oh. July 18th, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., up at the Las Vegas Ski and Snowboard Resort, 6725 Lee Canyon Road. Come on up to Cool Lee Canyon for birdies and beers at the Lake Las Vegas and Snowboard Resort. There will be a beer garden, live music, disc golf, and yard games in the base area, plus sample different craft beers throughout the golf course. Registration is open now. You can click on the website. Time starting at 8 a.m. Groups before going every 10 minutes. Pro division with a cash purse for up for the top three men and top three women. It's forty dollars to enroll. Uh, you want more? You want more pets in your house? Oh, I would. Pet adoptions at the Nevada SPCA, July 18th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., 4800 West Dewey Drive. So you can go get some more pets, Mr. Cash, like you need them. Teddy would love that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Put them all in his room. Teddy. The Las Vegas Craft Show, also Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Silverton Casino. LVCraftShows.com is one of the longest-running craft and arts and gift shows in the Valley. Come on out and see why. Shop among 58 of Vegas' finest crafters and vendors. Held in the Vale Pavilion at the Silverton Hotel. There is something for everyone. Free admission, free parking, free raffles throughout the day. You will not be disappointed, so they say. How about history of Area 51? Ever go out to Area 51? They wouldn't let me in. That's it. Did they check your passport? They wouldn't let me in. Why not? I, they, because they said that uh, if you've been here as an alien, you can't come back I as see. a human. National <laughs> Atomic Testing Museum, 55 East Flamingo Road. 
Area 51 Special Lecture Series, Exploring Dreamland, a history of Area 51, Saturday, July 18th, 6 p.m., meet and greet, 7 p.m., down at the National Atomic Testing Museum. Uh, you can contact Director Joe Kent at 702-794-5144. $10 for students, $20 for members, as well as non-members. So you can check that out as well. Let's see, you like music by the Lakeside? Lakeside Music at Lake Las Vegas at the Village at Lake Las Vegas. That's every Saturday, uh, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. You can head out down that way. I'd have to make three stops and three hotel breaks to get down there, Mr. But I, Cash. But I'll tell you, one of our buddies is going to be doing a show there. And Who's I, that? I believe it's the uh, uh, the tribute for Johnny Cash. And uh, I think he's going to be down there. Oh, Jimmy? Jimmy. And I think it's... Jimmy Cantrell. I think it might Cindy be. The, I think it might be the first week of August at Lake Las Vegas. All right, could be, it, or it could have been already the first week of July. In which we case, you missed it. You're really well. There you go. Way to be on top of it. Summer <laughs> Island Castaway Concert, Centennial Hills Park Amphitheater, seventy one hundred one North Buffalo Drive, up in the Northwest. Experience an island celebration in the otherwise sleepy summer months. Las Vegas Hula will present Native Island Hula and Fijian Warrior Dances before Ooh. visiting guest artists. Volcano, Ste- Ve- blah, blah. Volcano Island Steel Drum Band takes the stage with an hour-long concert of lively Calypso Island, Luau, Reggae, Steel Drum Music. Bring low-back chairs or blankets to be comfortable on the lawn. Hawaiian shaved ice and other treats will be available for purchase, but to get into the concert is... Free. 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 Boy, they did it in unison. It's about time they did something. Free concert, Theory of a Dead Man. Ooh. Boy, there's a line there, I'd like to say. Fremont Street Experience, Canadian Rockers, Theory of a Dead Man, formed in 2001 and have had seven top ten hits. Their biggest radio success came from 2008 Scats and Souvenirs. Their hits include So Happy, Bad Girlfriend, Low Life and Not Meant to Be. Join us for a night of unforgettable music at the First Street Stage on do, Fremont. Do those last three songs slower a little bit? So Happy, Bad Girlfriend, and Low Life. Yep, that fits. That fits. I've seen these guys before. They're a good show. Are they? Yeah, they are a good show. I mean, Mr. Cash, I don't know. No, if they sound you, good. You know, are they a really big show? Really big show. Really big show. You know who the, the, who they got coming down there? Who's Kansas that? and Blue Oyster Cole are coming to that. Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. It's going to be a great show. That is Don't fear be the Reaper. Yeah. Don't fear the Reaper. Okay. I got a quick trivia. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> what do the lead singer... Of the band, you remember the the song "Still the One," Orleans. Yep. Yep. And Kansas have in common. Same lead singer, Mr. Cash. Possibly. I haven't got a clue. You're right, Mr. Phillips. It really? is the same. Band. Yes, Steve Walsh, the lead <laughs> singer of the band Orleans, is the lead vocalist for the band Kansas. Boy, I pulled that answer out of my butt. Well, that's was because just you're going to be rocking this Saturday night. I know. I haven't heard my as, promo as the Sandman. I don't have it on the sheets. <laughs> you didn't put it in on the sheet. <laughs> You played it last week and it wasn't on the sheet. Did I? Yes, <laughs> I'll find it right now. I'm mm-hmm. on my way. <laughs> Yoga in the Park, Sunday, July 19th from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the Downtown Container Park, 707 Fremont Street. Join us for Yoga in the Park. Luluman Las Vegas is hosting and leading free morning yoga session every Sunday now through August. The sessions which take place on the grass area in front of the stage at Downtown Container Park are free and open to the public. Did you say yoga, yogi, or Yo- yogurt? Yes, yoga. Okay. Yoga. Yogurt. Yoga. Hi. Yoga. Hey. Yoga. Well, oh, that was toga. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else we got going on here that I can bring out that's not on the strip? Monsters Intelligence Children's Concert, July 22nd, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the, <laughs> the Charleston Heights Art Center, 800 <laughs> South Brush Street. Gosh. That's about a block off the Cata. Yes. Uh, right <laughs> next to the Egg Works, right? Melvin the Monster no, no, is another year older, but still way. not old <laughs> enough for his license to scream. His birthday wish changes that, and the division for Monster Screams grants his wish on the condition of passing his test. Learning his this new information can be difficult for Melvin, and he sets off on a quest to learn with his friend Red the Rat by his side. Cast a friendly call for monster puppet characters and original songs accompany this show. So that is July 22nd. I believe that's a Wednesday. Yep, next week. Next week, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that does it for this edition of Unwrapped Treasures, the things that make Las Vegas diverse and unique. And we ain't just casinos or, as Mr. Cash likes to say, strip clubs. That's right. That's right. There's more to it than that. So anyway, 
So that just about does it for hour number one, folks. Have your lunch at Treasures. <laughs> the hell does that have to do with anything? Strip clubs. Oh my God. <laughs> he knows the steak dinner there real well, doesn't he? Yes, he does. All right. We're going to go over to the Vegas Unwrap Sports oh, Desk. Oh, wait a second, man. Oh. man oh, okay, I'm ready. There you go. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. you got to be on your toes on this show. I am on you, my toes. I know you are. You I know I try throw it to. to you when you're not expecting it. He always likes to do and that. And then take it to the top. Well, I can do that for you here. Okay. Let's talk uh, Let's talk. Justin Johnson on fire at the PGA and the British Open, man. at St. Andrews. Seven under 65 today, Mr. Cash. Justin Speed. No, Justin Johnson. No. Well, I'm reading it right off of the Justin. thing. Justin Johnson is up underneath the thing there. The Speed kid's not in. Let's talk Tiger. Tiger having the worst round in his career at St. Andrews. Cash doesn't like talking about his Johnson. You know, oh, uh, you know what I mean? But hey, hey here's how bad Tiger's at. He's four strokes from the bottom. Eleven strokes to the top. Which end of this thing, Tiger? Take the six and a half million that CBS, Fox, and the Golf Channel is going to give you, plus all the perks. You can have all the girls. You can have everything. Just give it up, my friend. Don't go out bad. Hey, I told you. Hey, I told you guys this. You remember several months ago about Pat Driscoll, right? Patricia Driscoll, Kurt Busch's girlfriend. Yeah. Well, it's been made official, guys. She is out after 12 years from the Armed Forces Foundation. 35% of the money that was supposedly taken in is gone. The FBI, the IRS are all over this right now. She's out 12 years, 30% of the money. I don't know, guys. I don't know. How about Ronda Rousey? Yeah. SB number one female athlete of the Calling year. Calling out Floyd Money Mayweather. He sure did. And how about it? And who I'd was take it? Rousey in an instant. I, I'm loving that. And also, Stefan right. Carey. Stefan Carey. Male Athlete of the Year. Yes. How about ESPN's dumping all the big talent? Keith Overman's out of there. Out again. He, he, Col- talked, he talked himself out. All right, but Colin Coward, man, on the herd, he's got two months left. He says he don't even want to talk to him. He's out of here, got a new deal ready to go, man. I'm going to miss the herd. out of L.A. I think so, oh. too. I, I love the Colin man, man. He's Take got- us to break. That's a look at sports for you right here, man, on the brand new VegasAllNetRadio.com. Yours truly, the Bobcat, taking good care of his business as we roll on and forward. Second half of the hour is on the way. Back with doing it with styles, birthdays, and a whole lot more. <laughs> you got it. Aaron Phillips, Ricky Cash, JPEG, the Bobcat. We're back after this, everybody. How about that? How about that? <laughs> In the infamous words of Joe Buck, I can't believe what I just seen <laughs> or heard in this heard in this case. All right, we're at the top of the hour, shaking some things up. We are now going to turn it over to JPEG for doing it with styles. Do we need a Do we need a disclaimer in front of this one? No, nah. no. We, we always need, need a, a disclaimer. disclaimer in the second that's, hour. That's very true. All right, let's sing along. Go for it. It's time for doing it with style. Style. You either got, got or you haven't got, got style. If you got, got it, you stand, stand out, out of my world. Or you haven't got class. class. How it draws. And if you don't, you can. Mass. Mass. You've either got. Oh, you, you haven't got. God, oh, you, you haven't got. God, oh, you haven't got. Stars. Twelve dogs just killed over. <laughs> <and they laughs> oh, my God. We, 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 we just lost gonna, half of our listenership we there. We, no, we're going to s- really stick to our day jobs. We have day jobs. That was fun. Oh, boy. Yeah. Look, I told you, never call me here. I'm on the air. I left the money on the dresser, just like we agreed. <laughs> Can we keep personal Yes, calls? I promise, I promise, I promise. When I call the agency again, I'll ask for you. All right, all right. Okay, bye. Can we Sorry. Can we not take personal calls I, in the middle of a show? Do you I believe, thought it was important. Do you believe this one is important? What, your sex life? I'm sorry. To broadcast yeah. to everybody? Well... I, I paid if, good money for that. I, I wonder if you ordered a club sandwich for everybody here. <laughs> jeez Louise. Left the, sorry. Left sorry, the money sorry. On the I apologize. Sorry, buddy. I like tuna, too, but jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Was that her name, <laughs> Tina? Tuna. Oh. Tina Tuna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, this is my <laughs> doing it with styles this week. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe yeah. I should leave now. Jeez. Ah, All right. Doing it with styles. Can't Here's my I'm award for this week. Guys. 
Fernando Sosa, a 31-year-old Florida artist, is telling the real estate mogul turned presidential candidate where to stick it. Uh Uh-oh. He has created a butt plug that looks like Donald Trump. It's got everything from his puckered lips to his trademark comb-over. I wanted to do something insulting, Sosa told the Huffington Post. I like the mental picture of his face going in people's butts. The sex toy was created in reaction to Trump's last month blasting of Mexico and Mexican immigrants. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, he said in remarks after launching his presidential campaign. Sosa used a 3D printer to get Trump's trademark hair to whip up just right. (laughs) The technology requires a certain thickness and texture on the hair, so duplicating his thin, see-through comb-over was tough, he said. They sell for $27.99. Future versions will come with accessories for Trump's noggin, like a snap-on toupee and a piece of artificial poop that, that will fit snugly on the head. Sosa has done similar sex toys for Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, and Rand Paul, among others. But he said he never planned to do Trump. I didn't think he was going to run, Sosa said. And then he made those comments about Mexicans. I was born in Mexican, so I stopped working on Jeb Bush to do him. (laughs) So tonight, Mr. Fernando Sosa, you get my award for doing it with styles. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I, I saw on the news this morning, on late night last night, they were talking about how NBC is thinking about replacing Trump with, you ready for this? It's, you'll see the irony in this right away. George Lopez is the host of Celebrity Apprentice. Oh, really? What? Right. I Where's mean, that Trump? that's Trump's worst nightmare. Yeah. 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 To be replaced by yeah. a Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. Mexican. Right? That was, that was crazy. All right. Go for it. I'm done. Listening I know. To do it, it with Stan. Heard exclusively on Vegas Unwrapped. Okay. Um, I, 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 you got me sidetracked in the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry. My si- uh, So I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Stella and Craig Down Under. Hey, Thanks, Stella. guys, for being a, a, a loyal listener and uh, stand by. We need more penguins. People are asking about the penguins. I never got mine. I know. Well, you weren't entitled to one. Why wasn't I? <laughs> because I was here when she was on. I, I, yeah, I answered the phone calls. And actually, she did promise to someone up to him. All right. All right. We, we can go back to the audio tape. No, 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 no. no. I, I know she did. I, I just wanted did. to give you a hard time. Okay. That's Since fine. everybody gives me a hard time. Well, well when, you know, it's funny. It's not the same when you give somebody the hard time as us giving Why you a hard that? time. Why is that? Because you suck at it. Plain and simple. We're better at making you the point of jokes than you trying to make, you know, Joke at somebody else. Yeah, but it's so easy. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I you know, it's, it's like so, it's second. It's nature. a no-brainer. It's a second nature yeah. thing. I'm going to say I've been working on this show for almost two and a half years. Yes, Mr. Cash, can I give you a couple pieces of advice? Oh sure. God, here okay. we go. Bring the computer, man. Just <laughs> bring the computer. Put your eyes in, teeth, whatever. <laughs> Just you know, two and a half years, man. Give him something new to work on. I keep telling him, you know, same old material, but it's funny as shit every time. So at the ESPYS, I hope you wrote down that phone number for the PBS Gold seven nine nine ten ten ten. Just in case seven zero two. Those me. are a good bunch of people. I, I'm going to put in for some radio host information. I yeah. think just to have in my drawer. Those are good people. You're going to like the TV deal, Cash. You know, retiring sounds more and more uh, <laughs> nice every day. Bought your season tickets to the Jets yet, man? There's the door. Oh, would you point to that? There's the door. Just right asking if you got any season tickets to the Jets oh, yet? Oh yeah, yeah. The Jets. Did you get them? I saw those cool looking socks you got, man. Who sent you those? Phillips. <laughs> well, gee, boy, just sound really enthused about a cool gift, man. It was. It's very nice. Okay. He's blown his nose in them three times so far. <laughs> Who did the Jets get a quarterback this year? The sister of St. Teresa quarterback. <laughs> That's who they're getting. Yeah, well. They scraped that old lady off the dome at, Mer- at Notre Dame, maybe. Boy, I tell you, they're, they're not looking good. Well, I, I thought they brought. Did they bring Tebow back or something like no, that? No, he He's went to the Philly. Eagles. Oh, well, my Philly. other my other team. 
<laughs> who's got six quarterbacks, and he's going to try to get them all in the game. How about your Giants? How about my Giants? Are they going to look good this year? Uh, it depends on Jason Pierre Paul's finger. <laughs> <laughs> right, now it's what, right now it's up his nose. It's did a you, stub. Did you see what they did last night at the SBC? I mean, it's hard to tackle no. somebody when you're missing a finger, right? You would think the arms would replace ah. it. The host, right? As he was pointing people out in the in the audience, he says, "Oh yeah," he says, "and and JPP is here." And they go to a picture, and there's a finger with the Super Bowl ring sitting on the chair <laughs> for JPP. Oh, God. oh my god! <laughs> I saw it on the news this morning. Are you kidding me? That's funny. That's they didn't That's, waste any time to go after him. That's funny. Him. How about that Ronda Rousey, buddy? I'm telling you, she'll take she'll take you know, May, Mayfield. Yeah, wait, 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 whoa, she'll take him, whoa. She'll put him in the arm bar in 10 seconds. He'll cry like a girl. Go screaming out of the ring, and it'll be over. Do you know what happens if he hits her? You use the operative word. Two yeah. simple letters. I and an F. He, she ain't good. he ain't going to get when, anywhere near when, her. You, She's uh, bigger than him. She's got a longer he's reach. He's faster. Him. He's faster. He'll... he'll you Please. think he beat up his other girlfriends? Please. Wait till he, wait till he beats on her. Oh, I don't know about that, buddy. He's, you know what? You know, you know, you look at her when she gets in the ring, and I mean, she's just flat out mean looking. She's intense. And I mean, man. but you see her at the photos, like the SBs and the other stuff, and you would think this woman could whip her butt out of a wet paper bag. Those what, are the ones you got to watch out for. I'm telling you, what is those the are the ones you got to watch people? out for. Do you not know anything about sports? Jeez, I, there I don't is know. no way that a, a, a woman, I don't care if she's Gorilla Monsoon. It's going to go up against the... Gorilla the, Monsoon is dead. Well, that's what I'm talking about. D-E-D. D-E-D. Mayweather would knock her silly, guys. If he Mayweather her. couldn't even knock out the dead chick. Couldn't even knock out Pacquiao. He was Who had a bad he, rib. He was running... Or a bad shoulder. He was running from Pacquiao. He was running from Pacquiao. He won the decision. And which, is be, which, therefore, he is now being stripped of and having to give up his belts... And his hundred and eighty million dollar no, purse. No, no, no. Yeah. Did, no, no, no. He gave up one of his belts because the, the he didn't he didn't want to. Uh, the WBO said that he couldn't have the uh, he couldn't the belt. follow the rules. Ah, please, come on, you guys. Uh, there it is. Uh, I know it all. He did not pay the two hundred thousand dollars that he right. owed on the sanctioning that's, fee. That was it was a thousand two hundred. Okay, he's which not, is he's not losing any of his. B O B O. The W B O gave him twenty four hours because I don't know if I wanted to keep the title or not. Exactly. The W B O title doesn't mean anything anyway. Uh, he's he's a he's a thug. I, I couldn't agree with you more, but Ronda Rousey, Rousey, Rousey put him in his place. Oh, please. Put him in his place. Please. Arm bar. I'm telling you. I'm t- if time. she got a hold of him. Hey, if uh, she gets a hold of him. We ought to get back on track, huh? I suppose. I think we got, we got a break coming up. I suppose Bob Ronda Rousey, Rousey would Turn also. Turn his mic off, will you please? Shut up, man. We're going to take Cena out. Turn Knock it off. off. Y'all shut up. I've shut y'all off. We're going to break. <laughs> 15 minutes after the hour. Make a sudden wrap here and fill a tricky cash shape. Bang, Bobcat. The leaniness continues on next, everybody. Let's talk about living. Let's talk about hospice. So God, number- I, tell you what, I tell you what. Anybody that doesn't know where the Vince Lombardi trophy and what year he passed away shouldn't even be watching or listening to sports. I'm going to tell you. We're out with Lotus and we're in with the new Van R crew. I hope BCM is all right, welcome back to Vegas Unwrapped. It is now time if you're celebrating a birthday. Today, July 16th, we want to wish you a happy birthday from all of us at Vegas Unwrapped. And you are celebrating a birthday with these people. All right. All right. Everybody ready? We're ready. ready. So who's playing tonight? All three of you? I'm playing. I'm, I'm in. in. I'm right. in. Let's if, go. If Cash wins, he gets a brain tonight. That's his winning prize. <laughs> okay. okay. That's what he gets. Let's get started. Actor Will Farrell is turning how old? 61. 44. 52. 48 would be the correct answer. You guys are off and flying. Barry Sanders. Running back? Yep. From Detroit? That's the one. Okay. JPEG? 37. 51. 55. 47 would be the correct answer. Uh. Had Mo- one of the numbers, right? Movie Does actor. Did I get half a point nope. for one of the numbers? Nope. Movie actor Corey Feldman is turning how old? Oh, Jesus. That was like the new edition of the Young Rack Pack Kids or something, wasn't it? 45. <laughs> 48. 47. 44 would be the Yee, correct answer. I was going to say 44. Yeah, but the problem is, is you didn't. I know. Uh, TV actress Jema Mays. 
She became known for playing Emma on the television series Glee. She also appeared in Ugly Betty and played Debbie on the TV series The Millers. How old is she? I'll, I'll, I'll say 35. I got the phone to answer. I'll be right back. Go ahead. 51. 25. She is turning 36 today. You guys were all over it. Hey. Uh, Gold Cup winner in soccer, Carly Lloyd, who had the game of her life to win the World Cup for the women. She certainly was also a Penn Stater, by the way. I'll say 27. 27. 24. 24. 29. 33 is the correct answer. Do we have a caller on sure the line? Sure do, man. Yeah, we, we, got the, we got the nutty bunch from Monday nights on the line. <laughs> oh, the pool party's hey. in the house. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's going on? Hey, you know, nothing much. Uh, talk about uh, what's that? What do you want? I see the pool party's calling in, and all he does is talk. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm just hearing your show. It sounds great as usual. There you go. We're in the second hour. Of course, we down downgrade, and we got a nice, uh, nice intro into the second hour from uh, from Fredo. From Fredo, yeah. Oh yeah. Hi, Mark. There you go. There he is. If you were listening, you would know that. Well, you know what? I, I just tuned in a little bit because I we actually uh, just woke up from a little nap. I'm sorry to say. There you no, go. That's, that's good stuff. Hey, I have a question. I have a question for you. You have to you, you have to settle this argument that we just had in the last segment. Do you know, do you know who Ronda Rousey is? She's that Amazon uh, UFC fighter, right? There you go. If she went in the ring against Floyd Mayweather, who would win? She kicked the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I told you. You've you just. Because I can't stand Floyd Mayweather. There you the go. Guy the guy never follows the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cash is red faced. That's what we. But listen, women's lib, baby. You got to give it to him. Oh, absolutely. See? No, you don't have to give it to them. They take it. <laughs> <laughs> Just give them the opportunity. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait. Whoa, whoa. Everybody talk about Joe Frazier. I'm so fast and pretty. So <laughs> that was Ali. That's what it sounded like to me. So yeah, what's, that's him. So what's coming? So what's coming up on the pool party Monday night? On the pool party Monday night, we have comedian and juggler extraordinaire and the voice of uh, The Price is Right on tour, Mr. Andy Martello. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. pretty cool. And I'm juggling my balls on Monday night. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> that- <laughs> and I'm, show- I'm showing my nipple. Uh- okay, now. You may have just moved up Cash's short list. <laughs> yes. Listen, listen. What about Is there like hidden any? That's what they are. They're, they're innies. Without stimulation, they're innies. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to put you on hold. I think I dated you once. <laughs> <laughs> Is she the one you left 20 for? Yeah. <laughs> we're just letting you know we're supporting you. We're listening to you. And uh, keep on rocking, baby. All right. Thank, All right, you. thank, thank you. Thanks, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. That's the pool party, Paige and Adele, Monday night, 7 to 8 p.m. Hopefully, if Adele gets, gets over the willies, we'll get them to a two-hour show. Because yeah. they really need two hours. Uh, by far. All right. Even but anyway, that we, agree we got some on. weird listeners. Yes. You know that? All right. Next actress, Alexandra Ship, is turning how old? She is House of Anubis actress who took on the role of Katie Rush in 2013. She made her film debut in the 2009 family comedy Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeak Wall. How old is Alondra Ship? What? 19. 19. 22. 22. 26 years. 20, 31. 24 would be the right answer. Here's a bonus question for two points. What year did Shoeless Joe Jackson die? Oh, my Whoa. God. That's tough. I 1953. Know, I, I, know he 1953? Came, I know he came out of the uh, the corn in uh, <laughs> 1989. 19, yeah, somewhere around right. there. Wow. Shoeless what year did Shoeless Joe, Joe die? 1955. Isn't that what you just said? Yeah. 1959. <laughs> 58. 51 would be the correct answer. I was going to say I 53. Knew that. Uh, former uh, Miami Hurricane uh, Dallas Cowboy coach Jimmy Johnson. How old is he turning today? Whoa. Whoa. 71 today. 71. I'll, I'll kick him up to 73. 67. Man, oh man, 72. <laughs> Boo. Oh, no, 73. Boo. Wrestler and MMA fighter Bobby Lashley is turning how old today? Oh, I remember him. Okay. Uh... 
40, no, 38. 38. 38. 36. 36. 41. 39 would be the correct answer. I was oh going to say 39. Here's a two-point bonus question just to try to get somebody on the board. What year did Ginger Rogers die? Oh, my God. Oh. I cried like a baby. Oh, Ginger. <laughs> oh, Ginger. Oh, God. 1980. 82. 84. I'll get back to you as soon as the page comes back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go do 1995 something. would be the right answer. Whoa, we killed her off. All right. Here's one that I think is going to throw everybody for a loop. Actress Phoebe Cates. <gasps> cool. My girl. And all I have to do is say Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That's right. And Getting out famous, of that. Famous pool scene with Judge Reinhold in the oh, bathroom. Oh, Phoebe. Her in the two-piece red bikini. Oh, Phoebe. 50. Three. 53. Oh, God. 55. 55. I think she's two years older than I am. I'll say 57. Oh, you guys are really off it tonight, guys. 52. Ooh, she's younger than I am. Would be the right answer. Cammy's I only really missed it by she's one. Cammy's age. All right, here's a two point question. What oh. year did Orville Redenbacher die? Thursday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It usually 2005. Goes it usually goes over better. Not 205. 205. 2002, and that just popped into my head. Oh, God. I knew, say, I knew somebody was coming I'm gonna up I'm going to say that. he pooped the pop at 2010. 1995 Jeez. would be the correct answer. Here's a two-point question we again. We suck at this. You know that? You guys really do tonight. <laughs> we do. What we got to find some other game that we can <laughs> at least get <laughs> one point. We, what year did Barbara Stanwyck die? Oh. Big Valley. She went to the Big Valley in the sky. Yeah. God. Do, 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 do. She was, 91. She was a big star in the 30s. 1991. 94. There's one question, one answer. 90, 84 or 94? 94. 94 is the second guess. I'm going to say 1989. Oh, so close. 1990 would be the correct answer. And mercifully, that does it for birthdays of your celebrating birthday today. Once again, happy birthday. And nobody birthday. on the list, right? And, no, and nobody got a point. Nobody. You all suck. Nobody. All right, a couple of dates in history before we go to break. What year, Mr. Cash, was kissing banned in England in order to stop germs from spreading? What? What year was... 1715. 1439. <laughs> uh, let's see. What year did former President John Adams graduate Harvard? Wow, that's a real good one. Weren't you in his class? Uh, let's see. He taught the class. He taught the class. <laughs> <laughs> man, you are old, man. 1761. 17, not bad. 1775, however, would be the correct year that he graduated. What year did John McGraw become manager of the New York Giants, the baseball team? 1907. 1902. Detroit and Washington played the longest scoreless game in the American League history at this point in 18 innings. What year did that happen? 1926. Uh, 1909. What year did Babe Ruth set the home run record with 30 en route to 54? Season home run record with 30 en route to 54. What year? 1921. 1920. Boy, oh boy. The older you get, your memory's slipping, you know? <laughs> uh, let's see. We Somebody mentioned National Geographic earlier. What year did National Geographic take takes first natural color undersea photos? Ooh, wow. What's up your alley, John? Undersea photos. Yep. Color photos. Natural color. Yeah. Undersea. Yeah. Which is different from? Non-natural. Unofficial. Photoshop. 19, 1949. 1926. Good guess. Wow. What year was the first automatic parking meter in the U.S. installed in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma? I didn't rob that one. <laughs> 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 uh, 19... My boy can eat 50 31. <laughs> 19 when? 31. 1935 would be the right answer. Wow. Uh, first x-ray photo of arterial circulation was taken in Rochester, New York. Thanks to Kodak. What year did that happen? 1907. 1936. Why are you going down in years? I'm not messing you up that badly. Joe DiMaggio goes three for four in this year, hitting in his 56th straight game. Come on, this is a fastball right down the plate for you. 
Yeah. If is. you don't get this right, you can't go on Veteran Matters on Tuesday, Mr. Nin- Baseball. Nin- 1941. All right, you're lucky. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want to do that one. Um, wait, wait. How can he tell you what you can do and what you can't he, do? He's been doing it for six and a half goddamn years. And that look where and, and look where it's got you. Yeah, it's got me uh, getting beat up every single week, every and Thursday night. It's 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 it's. Hey, if you don't like it, there's the door. No, hey, there's hey, the door. Hey, you know, up until now, you haven't complained, Mister Ricky Cash. Yeah, well, but, you know, it, it, sometimes it just gets to you. <laughs> you can bite me. Novel Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger was published what year, smartass? Uh, Catcher in the Rye, 1949. 1951. Jeez. <laughs> uh, taking let's see. This abuse. On, 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 on international radio. International radio? Yeah. Vegas Unwrapped <laughs> International. You listen to Vegas Unwrapped. Y'all staying by. <laughs> you better watch out. He's looking. Yeah, uh, great. <laughs> He's looking. Another guy that wants to take my head off. You know what? I don't, I don't even want to do any more of these. Fuck you. Go oh, to break. Whoa. Okay. Oh. 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 Go to break. I'm doing it. Doing it. Hello, this is Rick and Kelly Dale from Rick's Restoration. And you're listening to Vegas Unwrapped on Vegas All Net Radio. I don't know for how much longer. You two settle down yet? Have you, have you got your composure back together here, guys? Yeah, we're, yeah, fine. Yeah. we're, we're, we're fine. good. We're good. We're good. All right. The show, good. the show must go on. We you have bet. 25 minutes. We're yeah. professionals. Is so that what? the hospice on the line? <laughs> well, a couple of us are professionals. Four so. one. You better get 911 ready, just in case. Yeah. All right. Um, tropical banter. <laughs> tropical banter. Yeah. Um, I don't even know where to go now. You had me so flustered from the previous segment. Hey, you know, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's listen, we've been doing a radio show for six and a half years and it's always about what Ricky does bad or what Ricky doesn't I, know. You know, and I, I, I got to back you up a little bit there that, that you I know, mean, we you do know. come down on you. I think, I think Aaron, you, you kind of push it a little bit too far sometimes. All I'm trying to do is get the best out of him. And he just he just doesn't go there. He maybe doesn't. he doesn't have a best. Did you well, ever think of that? Well, then maybe we need to replace him after all these years. Finally, you know, you keep saying that, and and, and one, one of these days, days I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to call him out. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. No, we had an agreement here, right? When we started this whole station thing. Well, the station that, is no, different. No, no, no. It's not different because we're all in this together, mm. and 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 mm. we agreed that well, if if two of us said something, the other one was going to go along. So if but you're going to replace him, I know, wait, you're going to have to get me on your wait side. A minute, wait and a right now, I'm not. No, no, no. Well, the, well, the partnership well, is with the business, not the show. Yeah, the show is different. But the show I, is but different. I, but I also want to know where does he come off that he could replace me? Since when is his, this his show? Well, it, it was my understanding that now it's our show. I never knew it wasn't. I always thought it was our show, but it just seems to me like every single no, no, no. week I, I I'm going to replace Cash. We got the big giant head there. That 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 the big cheese numero uno. Did you not see one. the numbers for the three shows that you did while I was away? Did you not see those numbers when I was not in this seat? That's not fair. That's reality. That's not fair. That's truth. I could pull up some numbers where so, you were there and they were right. just as low. I not will bet, I will never, bet I that if you left that. right now, uh-huh. we could still have the same numbers no, that no, we no, have no, when no, you're no, here. No, no, no. Now, you know, I'm telling you, you know something? Look, let him go. Let, let him go. Hey, we you can know, we can do this. You know, I'll tell you what. Sometimes you're you're as bright as he is. I mean, what are you doing Wait, there? I was on your side. Well, yeah, I was sticking up for you. I get that, but still, I mean, this is a show that we do week in and week out. And, you know, why don't you join them? All right, screw you. Go ahead. Wow. Bobcat. What the hell is going on <laughs> around here? That was the faintest idea, brother. What is wrong with these guys? <laughs> They're all jacked up tonight. I'm telling you, I'm going to take some pills. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> oh, darn, man. They may take the whole bottle. Uh, did they get a hold of my coffee today or something I here? I've never seen anything like this. Oh, Boy, yeah. what is wrong with them? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's do an early break. This is Ricky Cash, sole survivor of tonight's episode of Vegas Unwrapped. And trust me, I will be back. I'll be back. I'll be back right after this. 
Welcome back. Vegas Unwrapped is Ricky Cash, along with two pals, Aaron Phillips, John J. Peg Styles. What's going on, guys? Hey, you know what time of the show it is right now? What We're time gonna, is it now? Are we going to get weirder? We're going to get weirder. <laughs> ah, great. Time for some weird news. The time of the show where we let everybody know, you know what? We're not as bad off as we think when we listen to the news from around the world. I love weird news. Yes. Here, strum it up. There we, we go. Get, we get to comment tonight, John. Yeah, because you didn't print anything off. Well, Once it was, again, it, unprepared. It, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just Chill kidding. out. I know. I'm Chill just out. Just kidding. All right, here we go. You ready? The lead story, Mr. Cash. I'm giving him the death stare. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. It pays to fail. The enormous compensation CEOs of large corporations receive is justified in part by the bringing prosperity to their shareholders. But last year, an excellent one for most investors, two of the nation's best paid chief executives earned handsome raises despite presiding over losses. You ready for this? Go for it. Philippe Dalman of Viacom was paid $44.3 million million dollars Although the stock lost 6.6%. Jeffrey Immelt of General Electric, an 88% raise to $37.3 million, although the stock lost 6.7%. What's the justification of that? See, um, I hope it's here. CEO Stephen Newman of TransOcean earned only $14.2 million, according to a June Wall Street Journal report. But that was a 2.2% boost for stewardship that resulted in one of 2014's Biggest flops, Transocean's 59.9% loss to its shareholders. Screw those guys. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. How, how do I get a job? You know, job? We, were just, we were talking earlier <laughs> we about job who's like going to fund education. There you go. Those three guys alone could fund education in the state of Nevada for the next 10 years. Jeez. Well, help fund it. Redneck marketing challenges. Oh, here we go. Scotty and Beverly Franklin of Springfield, Missouri are trying to tempt cowboys to actually wear leather boots retrofitted to be open-toe sandals. (laughs) KHOU-TV in Houston reported that the Franklins would sandal up your favorite pair for $75. Number two, one of the more reviled consumer products of 2015 is a gun-shaped phone case. I actually saw this. The picture of it, I mean, it's pretty freaky what it looks like. It's an iPhone case which which so alarms police that it's that it suddenly in early July became hard to find, even at the online Japan trend shop, which previously offered models from five to forty nine dollars. Asked one trooper, why would you want to make yourself look like a threat to cops? Yeah, I actually really. saw that on, online. How, how people? How stupid! Crazy, isn't it? No, it's sad. Family values. This should be good. In a recent BBC documentary, the son of renowned cosmetologist cosmologist Stephen Hawking, Tim, now 36, revealed that his dad is hugely competitive and showed him no compassion at all when he was growing up. Tim said two of his few avenues of coping with such a famous, oblivious father were when he used to race around his dad's specialized and expensive wheelchairs, pretending it was a go-kart. And for those deliciously awkward moments, adding cuss words to his father's synthesized speech software. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see it now. <laughs> yeah, baka, you baka. <laughs> oh my God. Malapaka. <laughs> I'll be doing this for the rest of the show. Great. That's, great. That's wonderful. <laughs> Recurring themes. News of the Weird tracks the armed and clumsy who can't avoid shooting themselves accidentally. <laughs> but then, there are these guys. Number one, Adam Hurdle, age 30, of Colorado Springs, Colorado, checked into a hospital on June 10th after intentionally shooting himself in the foot with a 22 caliber gun twice. <laughs> but, sure he missed, <laughs> but he think he missed the first time? <laughs> yeah, it probably <laughs> felt so good the first time he had to do it again. Yeah, right? Or he wanted one on <laughs> one foot and one on the other. Yeah, Gets better. He was curious to see how the pain felt once with his shoe on and once without. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah Raber, age 38. I, I swear to God, we have to start doing a segment on the Darwin Awards. <laughs> okay. I mean, we could fill up two hours Absolutely. just on the Darwin Awards. Jeremiah Raber, age 38, recently commenced a crowdfunding campaign for a kid's sports, sports version of Nutshell's Jockstrap. According to Raber, the, str- the strongest... Such a the strongest such apparel in the world, made from breakthrough Dyneema, supporting half the weight of K 
Kevlar, but twice as strong. Recently, using a 22 long rifle, Raber had business partner Matt Heck shoot him directly in the delicate area, but according to Raber, it felt just a tap. Now that's got to be idiocy at its finest. At its finest. I wouldn't be giving that to Kurt Busch's ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> just oh a tap. Goodness. All right, here's one. Least competent criminals. I love these. Morons. One, one flaw in the game plan. Gary Elliott, a, Elliot, age 19, was arrested shortly after someone had ripped a hole in the ceiling of Al's Army Navy store in Orlando, Florida, and expertly shimmying down a rope, then back up, made off with about 70 guns in a bag. It must be Spider-Man was proprietor Neil Krasnow's first thought. However, minutes <laughs> after the burglary, Elliot came to a police station's attention, a police officer's attention on the street, bleeding, carrying the large bag, and pedaling away on his gateway vehicle, which was a genuine tricycle. Yes, with three wheels. Isn't that what a tricycle is? Well, we're just making certain that okay. we all understand that. Okay. While a custom fitting is being prepared, Aliska Pipeline is servicing a leak in the Trans-Alaska Pipeline by sending an employee twice a day in June to mop up the oil with rags. <laughs> oh, nasty. Oh, a man was spotted and photographed on a riverbank in Nanyang, China, carefully and oblivious to onlookers, bathing his inflatable doll. <laughs> now, we had a discussion earlier today about inflatable dolls, did we not? Yes, we did. God. Yes, we did. And the five-figure ones. That's correct. The ones that have, like... Anatomically correct and even... Skin like and like real know, life. the whole yes. nine yards. Yeah. I know a girl that did one of those dolls. I'm not kidding you. Who made a doll out that of That made a doll, yeah. They made her name was Vanna Lay. She was a penthouse supermodel. And they actually made a, a doll out of her. It's called the Vanna Lay doll. Five grand for this thing. It's got real boobs and real, you know, no, no, yeah. And it supposedly looks just like man. In May. And you can slap the shit out of her anytime you and want. And you don't right? have to go to jail over it either, too. Wow. Bam, bam, bam. She'll be in town the same time. Just your luck, she'd slap you back. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be in town. In fact, you know where you can see Vanna? She performs at Oscars still. At Oscars Booze Broads downtown at the yeah, Steakhouse? Yeah. Sure. And she'll be in town the same time Assassin Number One's coming. Uh oh. I'm glad Holler. I'm getting out of town. In May, at the very moment police in Akron, Ohio, had begun with a warrant. Searching the home of Andrew Palmer, age 46, for evidence of drug dealing. A UPS driver appeared at the door to make a routine delivery of four pounds of marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> Can't make this stuff That's up. a lot of brownies. Aerobic drivers. No, aero- aerobatic drivers. I'm sorry. 79-year-old woman in Mark Groningen, Germany, hit a ditch coming down a hill and flipped through a wall into the second floor of a storage depot resulting in only minor injuries. A woman driving 100 miles per hour on the freeway near Leicester, England, lost control of her car, which somehow wound up in a tree about 20 feet above the roadway. She and a passenger climbed down and simply walked away. Wow. A car speeding over a ramp sailed off of a road in Durban, South Africa, crashing back end first through the roof of a one-story home, resting with the front end pointing straight up. Neither driver nor resident was hurt. Can you imagine if it landed on the toilet seat <laughs> and the muffler, <laughs> the, the tailpipe? But never mind. Leading economic indicators. Ain't everybody's for no banana in my tailpipe. Everybody's so worried about economics. I've got a leading economic indicator for you. Uh oh. Sweden, which of course you know, is Sweden the maker of the Donald Trump dolls. Sweden <laughs> has unemployment issues like most countries, but still. The Oliver and Eva sex shop was not prepared for the deluge when the nation's employment service website posted its opening to hire a sex toy tester. <laughs> Until the service was forced to pull the announcement, applications were coming in at the rate of one every 20 seconds with 14,000 emails greeting the employers the first morning. Wow. The sex shop emphasized that the tester must be driven, methodical, and with patience. Oh, and a knowledge of Microsoft Excel. <laughs> so, I haven't seen it. So now you even have to be computer literate <laughs> to, be a, to be a sex toy tester. I, guess, I love it. I guess so. I love it. Looks like you're out, Cash. 
All right, last one. And Poor then guy. Gonna, then we're going to wrap this stuff up. Yeah, we. I think we need to tonight. Oh, that's our two-minute warning? All right, yeah. then we're done. Thank God, mercifully. Two minutes, please. Because I don't think through. I could have read any more. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that does it for tonight's show. Who's on the show next week? Anybody know? No. What's the date? The date next week is the 23rd. Isn't uh, Carrie Myers coming in? Premier Showgirls? Yes, Carrie Byers. Byers, that's From what I From Premier said. Showgirls. I met her this week. Yeah, yeah she, she was she's awesome. She was a sweetheart. She was awesome. She, she was 12 on, years. Uh, 12 years she was with uh, Follies Boucher. She was there when they closed. Right. And, Still the uh, best damn show this town ever saw. Oh, right? yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. Someday I'll tell you. Know, you got to give a shout out to Corey Taylor, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did you see the trailer for her film? <laughs> well, not, not, not for that, but for having Frank Marino as her guest tonight. Yeah. And it was a super... Super interview. Absolutely. You you have to see the trailer for her her new movie. Okay. She's it, it, it's just all I could say was that's our little Corey. <laughs> Want to thank Deborah Salt from Vegas PBS, the director of workforce and economic development, for coming in. Next week on the show we have oh by the way oh LVIP dining is going to be here. Carrie Byers and we're guesting on Grief to Relief next Thursday too. Don't oh forget, wow, boys. That's right. Uh-huh. So we're going to be on Grief relief at 1 p.m. next Thursday. Colomundo. Also on Tuesday. I'm guesting on Veterans Matters. You're guesting on Veterans Matters. And Tuesday during Stars of VANR, Robert Morgan from Vault Payment will be joining us in studio. And this Saturday, even though I asked for it, we didn't play the promo, the Sandman will be making his debut on Up All Night from 10 to 2. I searched the record banks all night long for that darn thing, well, man. Well, it's in there because it's been playing on the station. Or mm-hmm. well, it should be. Yeah. But that's okay. We'll it. get it fixed in the morning. Hey, we're, getting, good. we're getting some real feedback yes, on we that are. on the show. So Songs up all night. with the word rock in it is the theme Saturday night from 10 to 2. Now, is that rock like music or is that like pet rock? That's like what. however the word rock is used in the song. Okay. I His downloaded 55 cuts for him for this weekend, so he's so he, ready to go. He's What's he going to do the second two hours? <laughs> hope he's got enough. We'll figure something You'll out. Have anyway, talk on there. have a great week, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to Vegas and Rap, gentlemen. Good as night. much as we goofed around tonight, be kind to each other. Why is that? We are all we have. You betcha. Have a great week, everybody, from Vegas and Rap. We'll see you next week.